All right, I was in one of the study groups online and this post came up. First, I wanna compliment this person on recognizing the importance of differential diagnosis, but how do you really figure out differential diagnosis? Ultimately, it's understanding what you see. And again, it's pathophysiology. If you've been watching my TikToks, I've been talking about this for about two weeks. Pathophysiology is the key to understanding. At the EMT level, AEMT level, paramedic level, it doesn't matter. If you see cool, moist skin, an example that you've heard me use before, it could be shock, but it also could be hypoglycemia. But you know what? The reason the pale, cool, moist skin occurs is the same. It's a response from the sympathetic nervous system. If you understand that, if you look at a patient and say, ooh, pale, cool, moist skin, they're vasoconstricting. See, let's think, you understand. You don't have to go back to flashcards or you know, lists of diseases in your head because you know what's going on. Limmer Education has two free podcasts about pathophysiology and assessment. I had the good fortune to do this with my friend and fellow author, Joe Mistovich. You're going to see a link on here for that. I want you to look at those. I think it's going to change your life as far as understanding things as a EMT student. If you're an EMT, you want to brush up, it's there too. Check out these podcasts. It's going to be great. It'll change the way you look at patients.